The title of the paper is Understanding the Impact of the COVID-19 on Online Eating Disorder Communities on Reddit. And uh, uh, here is the agenda. And uh, I have some introduction about the what's the eating disorder, and then there's a problem, and then what's the method we'll use. And then we'll present the result and uh, some discussion, and then final conclusion. And uh, for the introduction part, and uh, for the eating disorder is uh, are treatable mental and uh, physical illness. And if it's not treated properly, and it will result in very serious consequence. A famous and American singer, and uh, her name is like, like uh, Karen Carpenter, and uh, she suffered from this illness and uh, died at a very young age and uh, with her talent. And uh, her famous son, and uh, like yesterday once more. So, um, According to the like uh, National Eating Disorder Association, and there are about like uh, uh, twenty eight point eight million people suffering eating disorder in the United States. I think that is like in twenty twenty. Um, for the social media and the platform like uh, Reddit, a good data source for mental health study, and uh, but I think it was like in the past and now and because after they go. IPO and they change the policy and uh, but uh, uh, hopefully in future and uh, they will like uh, provide more access to the researcher. But in the past, it's very very good platform and for the researchers to get some data. And uh, uh, most of the studies on eating disorder are done on a few months after the outbreak of the COVID nineteen, which are not sufficient to access the effect the effects over time. And in this study, we will provide a medium term and data and uh, to carry out some kind of the comprehensive analysis. And we will try to download data from the uh, Reddit on online, so online eating disorder. And we will have the data from the pandemic and also have the data in the pandemic. We will carry out a comparison. And uh, for the problem we try to solve, and uh, first of all, and we want to see that like a through the comparison, and does the topic change and before the pandemic and also in the pandemic? Also, and uh, for the user interaction, does it change and uh, before the before pandemic and also in the pandemic? And also, we want to analyze the performance of 10 series forecasting model on the poster and the comments. And uh, uh, why we want to do this? Because like uh, the transformer is popular and we want to try uh, compare with transformer with several of other models. And uh, here is our like uh, research architecture. And uh, uh, we need to make it clear, and we haven't proposed something like uh, very, very novel, and we're just using existing method to apply to a very particular problem. So at the very, very beginning, and we try to download data, and we use the push shift, and then we have the like a feature extraction, and uh, here we have some kind of the uh, routine, like a natural language processing, and also we're using the topic modeling, and. Uh, uh, to try to extract topics and also we try to extract something and we can use it to construct your user interaction and we try to construct some kind of graph and using the graph to mirror the interaction between the user and also we have aggregated and the daily uh, posters and uh, comments and then we're using four uh, time series model to evaluate its own performance and then we try to visualize the result and also have some kind of comparison and uh, for the data we try to use, and it's from this three uh, subreddits, and uh, eating disorder, and uh, anorexia nervosa, and uh, binging eating disorder. And we try to collect uh, all the posters and comments and uh, for four consecutive years. And here's the data we try to collect it. And uh, before the pandemic is from the March 1st, 2018 to February and the 29th, I think 29th and 2020, and because it's a lunar year, and so we have 29th, and this is the two years, and uh, uh, in the pandemic, it's from the March and 2020 to the February 28th and 2022. And uh, we chose the uh, March 2020 because the WHO and uh, declare as a pandemic in the March of 2020. And you can see that according to the data we downloaded, and uh, uh, the number of posters and the number of the comments and uh, doubled and almost doubled and uh, uh, during these two years. And uh, uh, we carry out some kind of a data analysis. The first analysis and we're just using the LDA 
to try to extract the topics and from the uh, posters and comments. And we combine the posts and comments, and then we try, uh, we can try to extract the topic. And then, and we have the social network analysis to quantify the user acti activities and interaction. And also we uh, try to using the uh, time series model and to try to evaluate the performance on predicting the uh, post and comments. Uh, why are we are interested in posting post and comments? Because we think it's like, uh, if you have some kind of historical post and comments, and then you can predict the future post and comments. And then it maybe can be used as an indicator of the need and uh, you will need more service and in real life. And uh, because the, if there's more activity on the social media platform, and it means there's more uh, need and for people to get help and uh, for the like uh, uh, eating disorder uh, patients. And uh, for the uh, social network analysis part, and uh, each user is a node. And if there's an, one user comment on another user's post and comments, and we try to establish an urge between these two users, and we will try to build on direct graph by using the network X and also remove all the self link and uh, self link. And then we try to compute 12 metrics commonly used to characterize graph as user interaction measurement. Here is the 12 like uh, metrics we try to use and the uh, centrality and also the like uh, between us. And uh, for the time series, and uh, we try to implement the time series model to predict the user activity, especially on post and uh, comments. And uh, uh, for the posters, they represent user uh, intended to seek help. And for the comments, and reflect users interested to provide help or support. And the combination of the post and comments offering a comprehensive overview. And we try to prepare data as a seven days rolling uh, mean because uh, we want to have some kind of smooth data. And uh, for the time series model, we're using Arima and the Profit and the LSTN and the Transformer. And for the result, and for the first one, and uh, uh, we will, we using the LDA and try to extract the topic and after you have the topic, and then we assign some kind of label, and then we try to compile the label before the pandemic and also in the pandemic. And we will see that, and uh, uh, this is one result from one uh, subreddit. And you can see that, and uh, before the pandemic, and the, uh, most of the like topic is related about the recovery, resilience, and the body image. And but in the pandemic, and there's some kind of the like uh, COVID nineteen like topic, and appear in the uh, uh, in the topics. So and apparently it's like uh, uh, before and uh, in the pandemic, and uh, the topic will shift and uh, then and let's take a look at the uh, user interaction and uh, uh, we try to construct a separate social networks for each and uh, subreddit during both time periods and uh, we quantify social media metrics for each of the network and we compare findings to assess users activity level in each network and the results show that and uh, there's some kind of the significant change and uh, in uh, metrics across all the three and the subreddits. And we just show you one. And if you want to see all, and you can see the paper. And uh, the I think the all the metrics and uh, the only exception is like a network di diameter for the others and they all changed. And uh, for the network diameters, I think it's like, a, uh, it's like a it's like six degree like a serine and it's like a, it goes through some kind of the uh, network and uh, you uh, using like a, maybe six or here is like eight you can reach any other kind of the connector node and uh, then for the uh, last one and for the time series prediction on the post and the comments data and uh, we want to assess and which model performs the best and uh, uh, we try to mirror the performance based on the root mean square error and uh, 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 though the transformer is very, very popular, but uh, according to our result, and the LSTN gets the best performance, and the Arima maybe is the worst one. And this is the data, it's like uh, before the pandemic, and for the data in the pandemic, and also the LSTN get the best results. And uh, I think, and uh, uh, we have 
uh, some kind of previous study and uh, LSTN and uh, also is on the mental like a uh, uh, study and LSTN and also perform much better than the like uh, transformer. And the conclusion part, and we carry out a comprehensive analysis in discussion in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, it's noteworthy changes in the discussion content and the user interaction within the subreddits. And you can also find all the data at this uh, at GitHub. And uh, uh, if you're interested, and uh, you can download there. And uh, uh, because nowadays, and uh, uh, you could not like uh, using the push shift uh, API anymore unless you are a moderator. And uh, you can also try to uh, uh, download the archived file, but it's very, very large and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's not that kind of easy like uh, in the past. And hopefully in the future, they will roll out the research like API. And uh, I want to acknowledge my student and uh, MD and uh, uh, he graduated and uh, or has already joined the Ford and uh, in last month. And also, I want to acknowledge the NSF for the support. And uh, and uh, thank you. If you have any question, I'm here to answer your question.